Hey sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are creating some gorgeous decor pieces using newer Dollar Tree items. It is so refreshing finding some new items to craft with that are not fall or Christmas leftovers. You can create some gorgeous decor out of pieces that you might overlook when you first see them, but check this out. In the Dollar Tree Plus section, I found some wooden circles and used them to make the perfect tiered tray. This turned out so beautiful, better than I imagined. I started by adding some water to some beige paint to get more of a thin down stained effect so I wouldn't get full coverage and painted it onto both of the circles. I needed a way to connect the two pieces together and create like a stand in the middle. So I took two candle stands that I found at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna spray paint them black. I, I love using a matte black, as well as using some wooden beads that I can use as the legs of the tray so it's elevated just a tiny bit. I do find it to be a lot easier to add the beads to a skewer stick so they're not rolling around when you go to paint them. Remember when spray painting, always do lots of thin coats so nothing's runny, but I went ahead and finished this up by stacking up and gluing the two candle holders together, added the beads to the bottom, making sure that I'm putting extra beads in the middle. This looks a little silly upside down, but this is gonna add that additional support that I need when filling this full of my favorite decor pieces. And I feel like it turned out so beautiful, perfect to dress up for everyday use, but also really fun to decorate and dress up for Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comments down below what was one of your major goals for this year. Mine was try to get in, back in control of my health and working on mostly just wanting to feel good. So really quick, I wanna share with you something that I have been using just to get back on track and that is to implement intermittent fasting into my daily routine using the Do Fasting app. This video is sponsored by Do Fasting, but I seriously love this app and it's already helped me to lose over six pounds. So I knew I had heard about fasting and all the great benefits that it offers, but it seriously has so many more. Once you do your research, fasting can help like lower stress, lower inflammation. It can help with brain fog, heart health, and I feel like it has given me so much energy and just overall put me in a better mood each day. It's so simple to follow along and know which times that you need to be eating and even alerts you when you need to begin your fast. Intermittent fasting is not a diet, but it's actually like a lifestyle or eating schedule to help you train your body to use your stored fat for fuel rather than new carbs that you're taking in. I love it because my stomach feels so good in the mornings. It's helping me cut out those late night cravings. And the app doesn't just log your hours of eating and fasting, but offers so much to support you on your health journey, such as sharing meal plans with over 5,000 recipes, workout routines. You can choose the plan that feels most doable to you. It's very customizable and personalized to fit everyone's needs. If you want to learn more, you definitely can check it out for yourself. Do Fasting is offering up to a 75% discount for all fasting plans using my code Crafts by Caitlin, and the first 100 gets an extra 10% off their first subscription by going and clicking the link down below. Thank you so much to Do Fasting for sponsoring this part of the video. Now let's get back into crafting. I just shared a haul on my channel where I found these large wooden slices with a little jute twine holder on them and I love them. Pick them up if you see them and grab some extra because these are going to go so fast. I've already ran in the same Dollar Tree and they're already gone but I hope you guys can find some of these. If not, lots of different craft stores sell these type of wooden slices. I'm going to pair these with two of Dollar Tree's candle holder stands. Now these were kind of the same shape. I love how they're bigger at the bottom and they get smaller at the top so I thought it'd be really cute to set these wooden slices on top to create like a rustic scenery but this is not all I'm doing I'm going to actually put this into a full piece so stay tuned to see how it looks at the end but I thought I would give it a tiny bit more of a modern look and look like it's more intentional rather than just through together so I took a little bit of my chalkboard black paint I picked this up at Dollar Tree I love this paint I wish they would come out with some different colors and I just kind of followed the ring on the wooden slice to paint my black inside so it looked more natural and then it took the candle stands outside I spray painted them with some gold paint. One of them was already gold, but I wanted them to kind of coordinate and match together. Glued these down and then put them together. Now you could leave these as is, but in my Dollar Tree Plus, they had a $5 large wood slice and I thought this looked incredible, kind of holding the two smaller ones together. This looks like such a gorgeous modern rustic piece. I just love it so much.
Who else was so excited to find out the Dollar Tree was carrying tons of these new signs? So I have seen several styles of these in several of my different Dollar Trees, so keep an eye out for them. I thought it would be fun to mix them up just a little bit, so I took some white chalk paint and I'm just painting the two planks in the middle just to give this a little bit of a different look and some different texture. One of my stores has tons of metal decor left over and I didn't really ever put them to good use, but I thought this little Ivy home sign would be gorgeous inside of this circle but I felt like it was kind of bland. So I decided to let the home really pop out by painting it black and I love it so much. And then the galvanized metal is actually super shiny. So I just took a metallic marker. It's a little bit of a darker gray shade and it just kind of blotted on there a little bit to look like a darker metal. You definitely could do without this. I was just being extra and couldn't leave it alone. Sometimes I don't leave well enough alone, but I still feel like it looked really good after I wiped some of it off and loved how it turned out. I couldn't make over just one circular sign so I had to pick up this one that is square and I'm painting the middle with some mineral color which is more of like this light beige rich color. I love it so much. And then Dollar Tree had these little blank houses in the crafter square section so I thought it would be cute to cut this down and make the house like the focal point on this sign. So I'm just taking a razor knife or utility knife and with a straight edge which right here I'm just using a block of wood. I'm scoring this several times over and over until I can get a clean break and then cut off the excess. After I got it fixed exactly how I wanted it, I just glued it down on the dried paint and then wanted to add in a little wooden heart. Dollar Tree has out Valentine's decor right now. I always stock up on little hearts because I can use them like all year in my decor pieces. And then I still feel like it was a little plain. I know some of us are getting burnt out of so many words on signs, but I still like it whenever it's kind of minimal like this. So I put welcome and kind of scratched it on the bottom and this wraps this one up, but I definitely think like just painting those two boards in the background makes a huge difference. I love these new stakes and how they're blank so you can customize them for flower pots or anything that you would like. I thought it'd be fun to share with you a couple of different ways you could put this to good use. I easily just slid a wooden bead on the top jute twine or a little rope hanger. Uh, so it dressed it up a tiny bit, glued on one of these wooden hearts, added a little bow and made this a sign perfect to hang from my shelf. For the second one, I'm kind of doing the same thing. I just pulled the stake piece off of the back and then gluing on some of Dollar Tree's little beads. I put more in the center to hold some more of the weight to put a plant on here, but I really dressed this up for Valentine's Day. And then I found this really neat like three piece hanging sign. Now this is kind of neat. I wasn't super creative with it. I was excited to use these new stickers so I put it on there. It says family home. It was supposed to be kind of random and then I put a little house at the top. I'm not absolutely in love with this sign. Yeah it looks cute. I still hung it up and I'm going to use it but like what would you put on this sign? I feel like it was just screaming like to put words there. I'm not sure what else that you would do but I would love to hear from you and let me know how you would have dress this up. Thank goodness I had these leftover houses because I didn't want to put like a farmhouse animal in the top. So definitely let me know what you would have done down below. Thank you all so much for checking out today's video. Please go click the link down below. Don't forget about the Do Fasting app and you can receive up to a 75% discount in the web browser, but that is not included in just the mobile app. Please leave this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.